Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a heavyweight contest consisting of six five-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the red corner from Cardiff, Johnny Yearsley. <laughs> opponent on my right and in the blue corner, the British mid-heavyweight champion, Mike Marino. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your referee for this afternoon's wrestling, Max Ward. Yes, Max Ward, obviously in a tough mood. Not that he need be with Mike Marino, but he might have need to be with Johnny Usley. We all know the way Johnny Usley sometimes uh, clinches on the inside. Round one. Round one and six five-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide this winner. And it's Marino with the very black hair and the slightly lighter trunks. Mike Marino, of course, the mid-heavyweight champion of Great Britain. Johnny is in the heavyweight bracket. So there's a little bit of uh, poundage difference here. 14-13, Mike Marino right on the upper limit of the mid-heavyweights. And Johnny Yearsley at 15 stone two. Yearsley from Cardiff. I thought the crowd here would seem to appreciate the good wrestling. There are a lot of purists here today. I'm going to appreciate this one if Mike Marino gets a chance to, to show us some of his tremendous counter moves. Johnny Yearsley has very little hope with a, a cross press at this stage, I would say. At weight advantage of his is not enough for that, not in round one. And he's told to break it. Finger hole legal. But the only way they can be spread is on a single finger interlock. Not operated with two hands. And Johnny Yearsley so often does. Stepping out of the ropes. Trying to get some extra height. Still too early for this, I should say. We know with plenty of stamina. Not going to be worried too much about this this early. Four Japanese triple hold, but a lovely throw. There's power from Yearsley. Usually not giving Marino time to settle at all at the moment. Hasn't been able to get any of his master moves really going. Usually attacking first nearly all the time. And gets a two count until the escape can.
with a minute to go then in the first round of six. He is a little amazed at that. Even almost a grin on his face as Marino escaped apparently so easily. Now Marino started that double interlock with the hands. Let's see what he gets from it at the end of this move. Come on. Marino attempting to go up in a bridge in this last half minute, but not making it the first time. Good whip, but Marino knew what he was doing. Just went with it perfectly. Landed well. Eight seconds. Come on. Johnny Usley already getting a little bit of the needle with the ref more than anybody else. Arguing back with the ref, not a very good thing to do with Max Ward in the ring. But Johnny Usley doing well so far against the tremendously skillful technical expert in the, in the opposite corner, Mike Marino, by not allowing him to settle one bit up to now. Let's see if he can keep it up. Seconds away, and round two. Round two, five rounds to go, and remember two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide this winner. Marino in the lighter trunks, black hair. Marino in his favorite straight arm left position, he as he knows it, goes to the ropes and it. Just wondering how long uh, Max Ward will stand that sort of treatment outside the ropes. Not too long, I imagine. Again, side headlock on Marino. But the back hammer countered beautifully done, and directly he felt it go on. Yearsley went straight through the top two ropes. Certain way out of trouble if you can get there. Crowd never liked it. Half Nelson Yearsley. Switch to a backhammer. Leaving the head a little too near, Marino grabs it, uh, but the ropes again. Well, it's not very often we see Mike Marino get the needle, but this sort of treatment is liable to make this one of the few occasions. Full Japanese triangle hold still on on far too high. Marino holding it way up. Two separate movements that counter, but it came off. Couple of minutes left, round two. There's the counter with the head scissors to Mike Marino. A 
as quite a rope burn, and, si and uh, Johnny Usley's right side will have a chance to see in a minute. I'm sure he's got that. There it is, just ah. by, the, by his elbow there. Ah. I'm sure he's got that since he started this bout. There it is now, and here's this side. Trying the forward whip, and no, I won't go this time. Usually pats his man on the back in, in order to indicate a break because we're on the ropes. Marino lets go and usually doesn't. Thirty seconds. Not sure the ref spotted that, got the word landed, but uh, on the ropes that move after the break. Spoke to the public warning there. Mike Marino, one in my opinion, one of the greatest wrestlers that I've ever seen in the ring. In this country, it doesn't matter how many foreigners of heavyweight class that come over here, he always puts up a tremendous show, even if he doesn't uh, win. He gets so near it to a man maybe stone heavier, stones heavier. But of course, Marino's got a snag, and that is that tissue on the eyebrow that can get a fight stopped. battle rages one not just of flesh and blood but of spirit and principalities the noble the fallen warriors of light marauders of darkness and on this night victory shall go to those willing to sacrifice being and soul tna wrestling presents sacrifice Attention gamers! Win this brand new portable game console. Wireless gaming, amazing graphics, MP3 and video playback. Answer the questions. PlayStation is a trademark of A. Apple. B. Sony. Join us and text your answer game A for Apple or game B for Sony to 6555 and be the first with this amazing game station plus four games. So text game A or game B to 6555. 50p per message. Sausage on, eh, honey cool, and pong sauteed. Splendid. One is utterly ravenous. Passes you rouge, old chap. It's this season's must have, darling. It's so you. Ahem. You don't have to be posh to be privileged. All you need is four years no claims on your car insurance, then privilege will guarantee to beat your renewal quote. Now give all the larded ass stuff a rest. For cheaper car insurance, call Privilege now on 0845 246 0022 or buy online at privilege.com. Hello. When you want a personal loan, you can just go to your bank. But why not see if it's easier, faster and cheaper to call Lombard Direct on 0800 2 15,000. Your rate is based on your circumstances and loan amount. Our typical rate is just 6.4% APR. For an unsecured personal loan of up to £25,000, call Lombard Direct on 0800 2 15,000 or apply online at LombardDirect.com. What's the difference? This one never runs out. Call Screwfix Direct on 08000 68 78 88 for your free catalogue. If it's in here, it's in stock. And with a superb range, you can bet you'll get what you're after. That's 08000 68 78 88. Call Screwfix Direct now. You'll save money and get exactly what you're looking for. 
Call now on 08000 68 78 88 for the real screw fix difference. Nothing! Jolly good shot, Tracy! You don't have to be posh to be privileged. Cup hall! I say, way. Tally ho! Large refreshment! If you haven't claimed on your home insurance for four years, privilege will guarantee to beat your renewal quote. Thank you, Hobson. Anyone for croquet? Oh, only don't tell this lot. My go. What, what? I'm rather enjoying working in a smaller house. For cheaper home insurance, call Privilege now or buy at privilege.com. Start of round three, four rounds to go, two falls to decide the bout. Marino, there he is, he's back to us now. The black hair, slightly lighter trunks. Versus Johnny Earsley of Cardiff. Oh, caught on the knee on the way, perfectly legally. Very nicely timed by Earsley, that. And he could have weakened his man now if he got him again the same move. Now, if Yersley can follow one of these up and try his cross press, that might do some damage. He's trying the double knee reversed. Two, three. He's got it, yes. That did weaken sufficiently his opponent to go in with a reverse double knee hole. So the first one to Yersley in round three. And you saw that, I'm sure, at home, that Yearsley wouldn't release after the count of three on a pinfall on the reverse double knee head on Marino. He wouldn't release. So the referee told him to twice. He still wouldn't, so he gave him a public warning. So Yearsley leading now Marino by one to nil, but one public warning against him. Seconds away, round four. Round four, three to go. Now, Marino's got to go for this equalizer soon. He's only got three rounds to get it in. And remember, he's got to give one round to give himself a chance of a winner. Because a score, as grapple fans will know, finishes a round. Nicely turn into a backhammer, and again, usually goes through the top two to get away from it, to get the break. And yes, again, Max Ward, the referee, being really, really tough, even on Marino there for answering with a punch. You can't blame Mike for it because he's taken quite a bit from the Welshman. Yes, and Maria, that would punch. Yes, there was a punch. And so one public warning each now, and it's very seldom we see Marino receive one, but he really asked for it there. Punched them to, to Yearsley's left eye, right in front of the ref. But he's got to answer this treatment somehow, and and it's the ref now giving him a quick forearm jab across the chin there. Side headlock, Marino. Needs a break when he's told to, but he usually won't. 
Oh, that's I'm just ridiculous. Oh. I'm very surprised that US has only got one public warning and the sole of a foot attack, perfectly legal. Years may not like it, but it was okay. <laughs> Trying to get Mike Marino to play the game and shake hands, but Marino knows perfectly well what that means. One side they don't. Oh, the grapevine there with that right leg round. Here's his left. Interlock released, but the grapevine is on. Side hit Chancery on with it. And that could be a submission in itself. Marino taking no notice of that tap on the back wisely. One minute left, round four. And that's why he wouldn't leave go. Again, referee having trouble getting his man off the ropes in a second final public warning. In round four, Johnny Yardy received his second and final public warning. And Marino, yes, was that a punch? It looked very like it. It's a pity that uh, Johnny Usley uh, resorts to these tactics against such a, a master craftsman as his opponent because it does spoil a possible great wrestling match. But uh, Marino, he's, um, I'm afraid, lost his cool a couple of times. In fact, one of the first few times I've ever seen him receive a public warning. But he did deserve it, let's face it. A punch right to the left eye was very definite and right in front of the ref. Seconds away and round five. So the situation at the start of round five with two rounds to go. Still Johnny Yearsley of Cardiff lead, leading Mike Marino by one fall to nil. One public warning against Marino. That's him with the black hair and the lighter trunks there. And Johnny Yearsley, two public warnings, although he's leading by the fall. Marino must get an equalizer soon. This could be at the folding press, beautifully laid on. And there it is, the equalizer in round five to Mike Marino. Ladies and gentlemen, in round five, an equalizing fall to Mike Marino. So Marino gets the equalizer, leaving himself one round to get the winner if he can do it. It would be terrible if uh, Johnny Yearsley could force a draw with the tactics he's been using in two public warnings against him. The, the crowd here wouldn't like it one bit any more than I would. Round six coming up any second. Seconds away, six and final round. One fall each now. Two public warnings against Yearsley. One public warning against Marino. That's Marino with a black hair in the side headlock. Ah. These uh, treatment on the ropes that Marino's taking are tremendous. This time he missed it beautifully. It's a double arm by Marino. Over the top for a shoulder press. Beautiful further shoulder press and no chance of getting out of that. Marino the winner, two to one in round six. And all through pure skill he did it against the tactics of his opponent. Mike Judd, our MC, to announce it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by two falls to one, Mike Marino. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a hand for the loser, Johnny Yearsley. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, as he leaves the ring, a big hand please for the winner, Mike Murray. <laughs>